Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, quick video that I want to make. I've had students who have contacted me. Uh, uh, so I've gotten a couple of emails. Uh, I've had some students in between classes ask me to show them how to do what I mentioned in class where you can save the, a website as uh, on your phone to like the on your phone's home screen and then it functions like it's an app you download it from the app store or the you know whatever you know whatever you use um, so let's just jump in and take a look at that so i use uh i use an iphone uh, this is my iphone 12 it doesn't matter what you're using uh, it doesn't matter if you have an android so i am going to do something in here as well if you do have an android phone and i'll leave chapters uh, in the description where you can jump to that if you use an Android phone instead of an iPhone where you can where I will show you how to do that later in this video and I'm also going to leave descriptions in uh, in the description below I'm also going to leave links to uh, something that will help you as well if you want to go and, and look at it on your own and kind of follow along with what I've got so let's just go ahead and jump into this what you're going to want to do is open up your browser I use Safari and I don't I don't use Google Chrome just whatever you prefer I have my reasons why I you prefer to use Safari and on my MacBook a computer at home I will use Safari and Firefox and I use Firefox for all my uh, all my school and business type stuff just to keep everything separate since a lot of that is linked with my with Google stuff I just like to keep everything separate so anyway uh, I'm going to click on Safari and then, uh, or you can click on Chrome or uh, whatever it is you use. But if this is the instructions in Safari. We'll get to the others here in just a moment. And Berea High School, it's already there. And I use DuckDuckGo as my, as my browser, as my default search engine. I mean, not browser, my, my search engine. So there's Berea High School website. It recognizes I've been here before. And this, this is currently our, our home page and up at the top right you see that there's those those that little drop down box where those three lines are sometimes there's three lines like this or three dots that are vertically and they'll give you menu options click on that and you click on staff and then you're going to scroll down and then you see where it says science you would click on science and then you're going to get to a bunch of the science teachers you're going to scroll down until you find me the dude with the coffee cup and click visit my site and once you do, it brings you to the website. And then here's the home page. And this is where I recommend now you follow all the instructions to save it to the website. On Safari, go down on the bottom, and you'll see that there is the little box that has the up arrow. You're going to click on that. And then you're going to scroll to where it says Add to Home Screen, and you will click Add to Home Screen. And now at this point, uh, you name it whatever you want. Now, I already have this on my phone. And so it recognizes that I've done this once before, and I just called it Tib, which is you know my which is me. But you name it what you want. So you could call this like Tib's uh, Tib's class. You can call it your uh, science class. You can call it Tib if you want. You can do whatever you want to call it. If you're taking chemistry, you can call it chemistry. If you're taking my forensic science class, you can say forensic science, physics, whatever it is I'm teaching, right? And then you click, just click Add. And then you'll notice that right there uh, on your home screen, uh, there it is. So you now click on, you click on this. There's Tibbs class. I click on that, and there we are. There it brings us back to the home page. Now from here, this is this is pretty easy. You just on the top left, you'll see that I have those those three lines. That's where you get your drop down menu. If I click on that. It'll bring me to here to, and it defaults on the home page. All that is there. At the time of the recording of this video, this is how it looks. In the future, it might look a little bit different. It'll just depend. But essentially, the the the, the skeleton, the bare bones of this is is still basically the same. And so from here, you just scroll down and you go to whatever you need to. And there's all sorts of things here that you can look at. So for instance, if you go to, uh, you're in a chemistry class, you drop down and click on the calendar. And then you can see that it'll open up the calendar. Now, anywhere on uh, this website or any website whatsoever, you'll see how there's that little gray box that has uh, an arrow that's kind of going up at an angle. If you click on that, what that does is it just opens it up into a, a different tab. 
so that you can see it more so that you can you can see it a little bit more clearly so all I'm all I did was just open up another tab I'm gonna go back up here you can see where there's a where up there in the top left of this there's that little icon of me where I've got like my sunglasses kind of down like this it's that bitmoji thing click on that then it takes you directly back to the home page right and then anywhere again where there's a drop down menu you can get what you you need not a problem all right so I'm gonna just close that out so now what's let's just um, let's let's pretend that we're well not pretend so you've got an Android phone right uh, what you're gonna do is I have gone to uh, I found this article from how to geek uh, it's it's fairly new it's May of 2020 so it's fairly new things may have changed and whenever you're watching this video, they may be more drastically different, but the concept is going to essentially be the same. So, uh, this article talks about if you have if you use Google Chrome or Firefox, um, and I'm, I'm suspecting a lot of people just use Chrome. If you're on an Android phone, I, I think it comes as a default or something of that nature. People tend to just use that. Um, so anyway, if uh, on this on this. You just scroll down and you can see that if you're in Chrome, uh, whatever web page you're on, right now here they, they're advertising for themselves, how to geek, but you would be on my home page. And then in Chrome, you would see the three dots, the vertical dots. You would, you would press and hold that and then you would get these options that you can select from and you can see one is add to home screen. And once you click on that, it's then gonna create an icon for you on there um, and now it's the shortcut icon just like it was on that I had that I made from the Safari browser and then from there you know there's more advertising and then you can uh, click and hold it and of course and drag it to wherever you want to your desired location on your phone wherever you want and at that point you know how to do that just move around just like moving around apps if you're using Firefox it's a little bit different uh, what you do is you can it says what it's showing here is you can press and hold on the uh, on the URL box, the URL bar. You press and hold that, and then what's gonna happen is you're going to get uh, menu options, and you can see it says add page shortcut. Click add page shortcut. You now have an icon that's gonna be on your phone. You click on it, it functions like an app. So whichever page that you save, it's gonna jump directly to that. So make sure, once again, no matter which browser you use, how you're going to do this, that you're on the home screen for my page so that when it opens it up, you're there and you can get to whatever you need to. Or set it to whatever you want. But I, you can set it to your chemistry page if you want, if you're taking chemistry or whatever. But I recommend the home page because that right there is really a launch pad for everything that we're doing in class. You can get to all the resources for whatever course you're teaching. That's what I recommend that you do. And then that's really, that's really it. Uh, short and sweet. Uh, I'm sure there are other ways of of doing this. If you have different flavors of Android phones, whether or not you uh, use a Samsung phone, whatever the case might be, um, uh, different flavors of those. Um, I don't use them, but I know at a minimum something like this will work. You just have to play with it. And again, I will leave these links, and I'll I'll look for some others, and I will leave that in there and update that. And then that's really it. So, yeah. Hope that was helpful. Again, thank you for those of you who asked for this. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll, I'm glad to do it. If you have any other, uh, any other topics you would like me to cover, any other things that you think would be helpful, please reach out. That's what I'm here for. That's what I want to do. Um, and on the when you get to, when you get to uh, the page, like for instance, um, let's go back to the site. And if you're there, for instance, you remember you can go and there's the, um, like in chemistry class, you click on that and it says lesson videos, right? Or um, if you click read this first, it'll kind of get you kind of the same thing. But all the le video lessons that I have, one of the benefits of doing this is if you just click on my picture right here, then it'll jump you to the channel where I keep all of the pages. And all the all the um, all the videos that I have and I have them broken down into playlists no matter what it is I'm teaching and right now as of making this video there's 96 videos I'll be making a whole lot more so what I recommend that you do is subscribe um, it helps the channel I would appreciate that it helps out what I'm doing um, 
And but you don't have to click the bell icon if you don't want to so that you get notified. If you're in my class, you get notified. But if you're not a student in my class and you are watching this or you have subscribed by clicking that, it does help because I will be putting out a whole bunch of videos. Like, for instance, um, I'm working on a library of topics for biology. I used to teach biology years ago, and I, I have a bunch of videos I made when I taught biology a long time ago. But I'm repurposing those and making them more up to date and I'll be populating those. So there'll be an entire playlist of biology stuff as well to help people out. So I'll have all the chemistry, I'll have biology, forensic science, I'm building that course. So there'll be playlists for forensic science coming up eventually as well. So I would appreciate that. Have a good night. Um, go study, go do some science. I'm gonna get ready for class and I will see you in another video really, really soon. Bye.